This is Amber. We've made Amber a special book just for her. Can you use an algorithm to write a children's book? Lost My Name is making a strong claim that you can. Each gives Amber the first letter of their name. And hey presto, her name is found. The London-based startup has sold more than 300,000 copies of its book since it launched in April. It tells the story of a child who lost their name and goes on an adventure to find it again. Lost My Name is a personalized uh, print-on-demand product, which means that every book is made to order. So there is no stock. Uh, we're not in any retail space. Uh, you can only find it on uh, lostmy.name and personalize it to the, uh, to the child that it's being made for. But this book is unique because not only is it the result of a writer's creativity, it's a digital product. We are a full-stack publisher. Um, everything that we do runs on software, from the website, the front end, the ability to give you a full preview of your book, uh, all the way to the e-commerce side of things. Out of about uh, over 30 people that are in the company now, about a third of it, if not more, are uh, developers, are um, programmers. If you think the idea of a book as a digital product is a bit weird, what about this? Coffee. Packed in London works with farmers, employs roasters, sales and marketing people, but crucially, software developers too. The company delivers coffee across the UK, from London to the Outer Hebrides. At the heart of its business is an algorithm that figures out which bean a customer would like best. We ask questions that the customers know the answers to. Do you take milk? Do you take sugar? How many cups do you make a day? And critically, how do you brew your coffee? We've then got a really, I mean, a relatively <coughs> complex piece of technology which will say, well, based on all of the information we have, we think this is the coffee for you. After bag number three, you may not know that the coffees you love are South American, low acidity, big, chocolatey, mid-roasted, and that you need it coarse ground for your cafetiere. But it doesn't matter that you don't know that because that's exactly what you get through the door. Um, that's not an easy thing to do, uh, and it, it's impossible to do that at scale without smart recommendation technology. PACT has also built its own technology to manage the production process and logistics, rather than buying an off-the-shelf system. This allows the company to create the bespoke packages that its target market expects. There was a time when the question you'd be asked, like one of the binary questions was, was well, this a, a traditional business or an online business or a digital business or a technology business? And I think that stopped being a relevant question um, a few years ago. And so I suppose one piece of advice would be don't fall into the trap of thinking you're either a digital business or you're not. Like there isn't a successful consumer company on the planet that doesn't leverage technology in a smart way. Books and coffee might not seem like digital products, but what these businesses highlight is that technology enables a level of personalization that would have been impossible just a few years ago. But they also reveal something else. Every business today is a digital one. Get the balance right, and you can still deliver a great human experience to your customers. Ravi Matu, Financial Times, London.